Bring the public hearing to order Tuesday, March 10th, 9.30 a.m. Could I have a roll call, please? Commissioner Tedesco? Here. Commissioner Odoricio? Present. Commissioner Henry? Commissioner Hansen? Here. Commissioner Pulowski? Here. Could everyone please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance is to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, do I have a motion to approve the agenda? So moved, Chairman. Commissioner Pulowski? Yes. Commissioner Odoricio? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Well, good morning. We're fortunate to have a special presentation this morning. Uh, Lindsay Irby, the 2015 Adams County Fair Queen, and Haley Ward, the 2015 Lady in Waiting. We're officially crowned at the coronation celebration at the Adams County Regional Park Complex this last past weekend. They are both here this morning with their families, and we are proud to have them. These young ladies will be responsible for promoting Adams County and the Adams County Fair throughout the next year. Their duties include representing Adams County in parades, local city events, as well as appearing at 4-H events to help promote the 4-H program and the Western way of life to city children. On behalf of Adams County Board of Commissioners, it is my pleasure to formally recognize Lindsay and Haley. We will start recognizing the 2015 Lady in Waiting. Haley, will you come forward? Haley Ward is 19 years old. She is a daughter of Julian and Tom Ward. Haley is a recent graduate of Bennett High School, where she was a member of the varsity dance team and the Arapahoe County 4-H. She is now furthering her education at the Community College of Denver, where she is studying to become a veterinary technician. Upon completion of this program, she hopes to attend Colorado State University to become a certified veterinarian. Haley's hobbies include dancing, drawing, riding with her drill team, blazing saddles, and barrel racing. She also enjoys spending time with her horse, King, and improving her horsemanship skills. Haley dreams of one day going indoor skydiving, competing in freestyle reining in the National Western Stock Show, and bull riding, but just once. <laughs> Haley currently works at PetSmart as a cashier and enjoys interacting with the animals, and their owners. In her spare time, Haley loves learning all she can from James Morgan, her horse trainer. After her reign as the 2015 Lady in Waiting, Haley will serve as the 2016 Adams County Fair Queen. Congratulations, Haley. Would you like to say a few words? Yes. Good morning, Commissioners Tedesco, Hansen, Ordericio, and Plowski. I am so thankful to have such an amazing opportunity in representing Adams County as a public leader. Honestly, I can't thank you enough for giving me such an amazing opportunity. I have always dreamed of being Adams Fair Queen, but I never knew I could actually do it. I couldn't have reached this dream without your help, and I'm ever so great grateful for that. I'm super excited to spend this year with Lindsay. I know she will be a great leader for me and for others. My reign has just begun and I, I've had a great time getting to know Lindsay, so there is no doubt in my mind that this year will be a great year. I'd also like to take a brief moment to thank the county commissioners for their support in the royalty program. I know without your support, I would not be able to be here today and I am ever so grateful for that. I'd like to thank, thank the commissioners Tedesco, Ordericio, and Pulowski for attending my coronation. I will do my best to represent Adams County in 2016 when I become Fair Queen, as I know Lindsay will in 2015. I look forward to working and representing Adams County and with the commissioners. Thank you. Well, Haley, we have a bouquet of flowers for you. We also have a presentation, but we'll wait until the end and we'll get group photos when we come down, okay? Thank you, Thank you very much. 
It's now time to present the 2015 Adams County Fair Queen. Lindsay, can you come forward? <laughs> Lindsay Irby, 2015 Queen, is the 20-year-old daughter of Kent and Lori Irby of Henderson. Lindsay is currently participating in her second year of online justice studies program through Fort Hayes State University, where she is hoping to achieve her BA within three years. She would then like to return to school and become a corporate attorney. Lindsay spent three weeks traveling abroad with the People to People Student Ambassador Program, representing the United States. Lindsay's future plans consist of returning to school to pursue a law degree, skydiving with her oldest brother, and I guess Haley now? Yeah. <laughs> who is a skydive instructor and living in Hawaii, England, and Australia. She also hopes to barrel race in Adams County Fair soon and looks forward to running in the, for the title of Miss Rodeo Colorado. Lindsay's hobbies include western riding, barrel racing through the Mile High Barrel Horse Association, kickboxing, wakeboarding, training her gelding, curly, hiking, and spending time with friends and family. Before we present you with all these gifts, would you like to say a few words? Of course. <clears throat> Good morning, Commissioners Pulowski, Tedesco, Hansen, and Odoricio. Thank you so much for having us here this morning. My main goal here today is to express to all of you how truly thankful I am to have your support in the royalty program and the Adams County Fair. I know that without all of you, this program would be non-existent. I truly owe all of my newfound strengths to all of you. This program and county has been life-changing, and it is indeed because of all of your impact on the community. I am so excited to respectfully represent Adams County as your 2015 Adams County Fair Queen. I cannot wait to work with all of you in the near future, especially as the fair approaches. I hope that Haley and I can make you proud this year as we fulfill our duties. I would also like to thank you for your support at the 2015 Royalty Coronation this past weekend. Again, I cannot thank you enough, Commissioners Pulowski, Tedesco, Hansen, and Odoricio, for all of your undivided support and involvement in the Adams County Fair and Royalty Program. You all are changing lives year after year, and that is something that words can never express enough of. Thank you so much for your time. Well, we are definitely honored to have such wonderful young ladies representing us this year, and I wish you the best of luck, and I hope to see you out on the out on the street in the parades and in the buildings at the rodeos and and I know that you will represent us well and I want to congratulate the families you, you have done an extremely good job of raising kids and and we look up to you and we hope that we can do the same so thank you very much at this time I think we're ready to come down we'll present well I have one more thing and I'd like to ask one of the commissioners if they would like to read the proclamation I'd love Anyone? to <clears throat> Proclamation recognize, oops, can everyone hear? I don't know if that's broadcasting or not, is it? There, okay. Recognizing Lindsay Irby as the 2015 Adams County Fair Queen and Haley Ward as the 2015 Lady in Waiting. Whereas Adams County is holding the 2015 Adams County Fair August 5th through the 9th, and whereas there is a strong tradition in the county to hold an annual fair with a fair queen and lady in waiting presiding over the festivities, and whereas Adams County is proud of its youth and proud to honor young women in the county with the fair queen and lady in waiting coronation, and whereas Adams County has approved Adams County fair and queen and lady in waiting positions with adopted roles and responsibilities and procedures for selecting the Adams County fair queen and lady in waiting, and whereas Adams County held the Adams County Fair Queen and Lady in Waiting competition and selected Lindsay Irby as the official representative of the 2015 Adams County Fair, as the Fair Queen and Haley Ward as the Lady in Waiting, 
And whereas Lindsay Irby and Haley Ward are role models in the community and the county, recognizes the many accomplishments that qualify them for these roles as ambassadors, as well as queen and lady in waiting of the fair. Now there, therefore be it resolved by the Board of County Commissioners of the County of Adams, State of Colorado, that Lindsay Irby is the official 2015 Adams County Fair Queen, and Haley Ward is the official 2015 Adams County Fair Lady in Waiting. And it's uh, endorsed by obviously all of us commissioners. Congratulations. Thank you. So before we come down, I want to ask if there's any other commissioners that would like to make a comment at this time. Anyone? Commissioner, <clears throat> I have just a little bit of a story I'd like to tell. After I went to the coronation on Saturday, I was very impressed with these beautiful young women. I posted it on Facebook. And then I made a phone call to one of my grandsons, who will be 22 and, a, <laughs> and another one who will be 21. I just told him, I said, you know, you guys, you've got to come out here and get to know these gals. They're very cute. <laughs> the only thing is that uh, my husband said to one of my grandsons, you may have to get a horse in order to be involved with them. I'm not sure. So to which my one grandson said, will a Mustang do? So anyway, just so you know, <laughs> I'm very proud of the fact that these young ladies are going to be representing us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, on behalf of Commissioner Henry, I know that she's not a, a, able to be here with us today, but I know that, you know, two young, prominent women like yourself, she would be very proud of you right now, and I know that she would want to convey that. So, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. Kind of smush in a little bit. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, ready? I'm good. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, as we move forward with our program today, citizen comments. Do we have anybody signed up for citizen comments? We do not. Is there anyone in the audience who did not sign up for citizen comments who would like to do so at this time? Seeing none. Elected officials, do we have comments? No? 
I thought you did. You told me, did you want to recognize somebody? Oh, no, I was going to say Mr. Lefebvre is here. Oh, well, go ahead. Yeah. Well, it means he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, no elected comments. Let's move on. Consent calendar. Do I have a motion for consent calendar? Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Pulaski? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Odoricio? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Okay, new business, county manager. We have uh, seven items this morning for your consideration. Uh, our first one is a resolution approving amendment one to agreement between Adams County and Colorado Carpet Center for additional services. Bethany Bonacera with our purchasing departments here to talk through that. Good morning. In September 2014, Colorado Carpet Center was awarded a contract to remove and replace carpet in 11 of the 22 courtrooms at the Adams County Justice Center. Facility is budgeted to complete the remaining 11 courtrooms in 2015. The contractor has agreed to add the remaining courtrooms at the same time and materials cost as the initial bid. The contract will change as follows. The original contract was $123,696.10. The additional courtrooms will add an additional $117,830 for a total contract price of $241,526.10. The recommendation is to add the remaining 11 courtrooms to the carpet replacement contract with Colorado Carpet Center for an additional cost of $117,830 for a total contract price of $241,526.10. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? Seeing no questions, do I have a motion? Yes, sir. I move that the Board of County Commissioners approve resolution for Amendment 1 to an agreement between Adams County and Colorado Carpet Center for additional services as described on the record. Okay. Commissioner Odoricio? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Commissioner Pulaski? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank Motion you. passed. Thank you. Thank you. Um, our next item, and this is a minor modification. You've received the resolution with the uh, current verbiage. I'll read that into the record and then we'll have a Ben D. Romanis, uh, talk through that. Um, it's a resolution approving a proposal to Cumatic to provide a customer management queuing system for the Adams County Motor Vehicle Department. Good morning, commissioners. In 2014, the clerk and recorder's office became interested in installing a customer management queuing system for use in the lobbies of the county's six motor vehicle offices with the purpose of improving the motor vehicle department's overall customer experience. In implementing this system, the Motor Vehicle Department will be able to reduce customer wait times, increase available staff time, provide more efficient training and, and staff, improve employee efficiency and working conditions, as well as have the ability to provide statistical information regarding office transactions to both employees and customers. The project scope entails the design, implementation, maintenance, and support of a comprehensive and modern que customer queuing system. On December 10th, 2014, a formal request for proposal was posted on the Rocky Mountain e-purchasing system. Proposals for the customer management queuing system were opened on January 3rd, 2015. Three firms submitted proposal and all three were evaluated. Review of these proposals was conducted by an evaluation team consisting of members from the motor vehicle and information technology departments. Proposals were evaluated on the following criteria. Recommended solution, contractor experience, project cost, and value-added features. Based on thorough evaluation of each proposal, it was determined that the Cumatic Corporation would provide the best value to Adams County to provide a customer management queuing system for the following reasons. Quality of system design, software licensing terms, overall project cost, and Cumatic's value-added features. At this time, it's recommended that the RFP award be made to Cumatic Corporation in the amount of $201,125.28. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have questions for staff? Commissioner Hansen. I'm getting frustrated because this is at least the third time that I've said and the commissioners have said that the summary of scores is not sufficient for looking at these kinds of contracts. You know, we've, I've asked for, we've asked for, 
detailed information on each one of these things, and again, it's not here. You know, I don't know what quality of system design means. I don't know what the scores were for the evaluators on that one. Software licensing terms, overall project costs. I mean, a, a summary score is not enough. And uh, it's frustrating because it's not the first time. And a couple weeks ago, we had to continue an item because that detail wasn't there. So I just don't understand Can why we are, you know, not getting what we asked for. Can, can I just ask, I think that since the, the, I think it's just the documents, and I think you can probably clear this up for me, Ed, but the documents were not included in the packet? <clears throat> Commissioner, I, I, I don't know what was submitted, what was, uh, they obviously didn't make it here. I concur okay. with Commissioner Hansen's uh, comments. It's not uh, not the way these documents were intended to be delivered, and, so, and I would recommend that we bring it back to you next week with a complete package. Okay. So, commissioners, okay. with your approval, we can postpone this till next week. I, I just my question is, is this just like an automatic board that will sit out that that tells people in advance before they take a number? <laughs> what they need to have in hand before they come in, or, or what is this? What it'll be, uh, Commissioner, is it'll be instead of coming in and taking a number out of the ticket right. machine that we have, instead the customers will come in and select what service that they want from the motor vehicle department out of a customer service kiosk, and then from there that kiosk with the software solution will be prioritizing jobs. So it will be able to basically reduce the customer wait time by, you know, moving um, a certain job up the line versus another one, if it can be done faster by the clerks who are on duty. Are there some um, motor vehicle places that already have this in place? Because yeah. I went to the one recently in Aurora off Peoria, and I think it had the screen there that you went through and could identify what you, your needs were, and then they met them. Or do you know? Uh, as far as I know, none of our motor vehicle departments have really? any such customer <laughs> service hmm. uh, kiosk installed. Mm -hmm. There are numerous counties. Most counties in the metro area are already on um, right. some type of automated system. There are also <laughs> states that have gone this automated direction uh, quite a while ago. Th this particular thing that I'm talking about was actually for driver's licenses, but I'm assuming it's similar. It's what's sounding like. Uh, it'll be somewhat similar. Driver's licenses are actually a separate process right, than right. what the county okay. does at its motor vehicle department. Right. We do mostly registrations. I'm just trying to picture what we're doing. Okay. Commissioner Odoricio. So um, rather than going into too much detail, but it's my understanding that in it, with a system like this, if you have 10 people who have a two-minute uh, request versus one person who has a 20 minute request this will help you knock out those 10 folks and then then do the 10 minute person later is that essentially correct? yeah it's it, it essentially it's a tool to guide your manpower which will in return you know uh, improve the customer experience because they won't be necessarily sitting in the lobby for 20 minutes say if they're not in the lobby and they've stepped out and they want to come back it'll bump them down the list so many places if their number weren't called versus automatically you know delete them or wondering where ticket number 70 might be or in that kind of scenario so it it's a tool for both the customers and for Adams County uh, Motor Vehicle Department uh, Perfect. as a whole. I think it sounds like a good idea. Um, I, I think I'd like to learn more about the added features, the value added features as well. Um, but I think rather than talking about it now, uh, Mr. Chair, would, would we just want to continue this? Well, I, I, I just wanted to say, when you talk about value added features, since we're talking about this and we're clearing the air, let's, let's do this now. So value-added features, give us an idea of what the value-added features are. Sure, Commissioner, at this time, I actually like to invite our motor, motor vehicle uh, manager, Tamsin Totez. Uh, I actually sent the evaluation team out uh, to take a look at all three of the, cost, uh, the contractors that we had <clears throat> proposals submitted by, uh, which um, two or all of them were in business around the metro area. So I was able to send all five of them out to actually do their own uh, analysis of what they felt about the system so she would be best to talk about those features so Hi. just introduce yourself first I'm Tamsin the motor vehicle manager for Adams County when Ben and I worked on the RFP for this we requested additional things that can be added on text messaging text messaging for making appointments features like that can be added on to have the option to do that another one that Cumata came back with is a customer feedback option which is instant right at the end of the transaction will be a an option to have a little thing that you can do one to five and get an instant feedback on the customer service experience so 
We looked for certain ones that were required, which was just the appointment. Bilingual was another one in the kiosk feature that we were looking for. So those are the added features. Most of those are tailored towards either making appointments or text messaging, those types of features to be able to do appointments in the future. And the customer feedback is a big one that they came back also that we really strongly feel would be a great feature that can be added. And so of the three vendors, some came back that didn't have the features at all and um, two came back with some of the features and this one came back with all of them plus some additional ones. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. That explains a little bit of that. I have a question for staff. Uh, is this a carryover that was from the uh, 2014 budget? I know that we had budgeted for a program like this. Yes, this was, uh, this was a request that was made uh, when the clerk and recorder came in and spoke with you about a, a lobby management system. Um, that didn't take place until uh, they went through the RFP process towards the end of the year, first of this year. And this is, uh, they'll be coming back and you'll be seeing this on um, uh, the first quarter supplemental, really the carryover um, supplemental request uh, for funding. Right. Yeah, the the project actually had an approved budget for $195,000 for the purchase of the system with an additional 16500 for future maintenance costs. And given the, the cost that came back from Comatic, we were going to stand in kind of a uh, not be able to use the future money of the maintenance. We were actually getting a year maintenance for free from Comatic with the installation of the system. So we moved the $6,800-something uh, over to make up the difference in it. But we were operating under an improved requisition at the time of the RFP for $195,000. All right. Well, thank you very much, and Commissioner Odorizio. Where else is this particular system being used? This specific system is being used in the Denver clerk's office. It's not actually used in the motor vehicle offices in mm -hmm. Denver. All metro counties, except Adams County right now, have a queuing system. Denver has older ones. Um, this really is the best system. They've done motor vehicles outside Colorado, California, and New York, so they have extensive experience doing motor vehicles, just not in Colorado. But they are by far, um, they have an impressive system. If you, the only place in Colorado that I've seen it is the clerk's office in Denver County. And how, how quickly are you ready to implement this uh, after approval? We're ready to go. So. Okay. So, um, first of all, thank you for all the work that you're doing here. And thanks for your work on this. Uh, I would be open to either support a continuation for one week or uh, if there's some more specific questions, I'd be okay to uh, move to uh, approve this based on the information I've gotten. So I'm up in the air for either one. Are you making a motion or are you suggesting a motion? Uh, Commissioner Hansen, did you want to continue this for a week? I, I, I do and not because I probably wouldn't vote for that, but, but um, because the process, I think, is important um, in terms of getting the information you know, to us that we've asked for. Um, and, and unless you tell me that this is urgent and it needs to be done you know, right now, um, and that's a question, actually, for you. Is this something that for needs me? to be done? You to know, me, is it gonna make a difference? it's urgent and it's long overdue, but um, in the scope of it, I one week if you need one week, you can have one week. Okay. It's going to take time to arrange the vendor to get in here and start so with us I, I as it move, is. I would move to continue a week. Do we have a second? Second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Pulaski? Yes. Commissioner Odoracio? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Okay, we'll continue for one week. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, the next five items, items three through seven, are pertain to change orders associated with our core service agreements uh, for our human services department. Liz Estrada is going to talk through uh, these items, um, and um, the discussion can be uh, approving all five at the same time, or you can t talk through and approve those individually. So I'll let uh, Liz talk through uh, this individual one and get back to you. Good morning. In 1991, Article 5.5 was enacted to create the Colorado Family Preservation Act. The program is defined in the state statute as family preservation. The program is referenced in the Code of Colorado Regulations as core services. The core services program was established within the Colorado Department of Human Services in 1944 and is statutorily mandated to provide strength-based resources and support to families with children who are at eminent risk or out of home placement and or in need of services to maintain at least restrictive setting. 
Um, in your memo, I did list all of the, of the services that are required under core services. The proposals were open in our, excuse me, open on April 10th of 2013 to provide the core services for the 2013-14 program fiscal year. The solicitation was posted on Rocky Mountain and also advertised in the newspaper. 21 applications were submitted. 15 agreements for core services were awarded. Agreements were renewed and approved by the Board of County Commissioners in 2014 and for the 2014-15 program. The goal of core services funding is to provide services which are de designed to prevent out-of-home placements, stabilize placement, and reunify children with their families. The adjustments are necessary due to the department's increase in utilization of home-based services and specialty or culturally specific services versus traditional office-based services. In addition, the Affordable Care Act has resulted in services being covered for some, of the, for some of our clients, which would have typically been paid through the core services program. The Denver Area Services Agreement will be increased by $90,000. The Development Disabilities Consultant Agreement will be increased by $60,000. Denver Indian Family Resource Center Agreement will be increased by for dollars Shiloh House will decrease by $30,000, and Community Reach Services Agreement will decrease by $127,500. The change order amounts are funded 100% by core services. There is no county match required. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, do we have any questions? None? Do we have a motion? Let me ask this, do you want to hear all five of these and do it as one motion or would you rather do them individually? So I think the request is to do all five. Am I correct? Correct. Okay, we'll do all five. So if you could move on to the next one and we'll do all five in, in one. I prepared one memo for all five of the contracts. The county attorney's office requested that we do individual resolutions for each um, consultant. Okay. County Attorney? Yes, you can move to approval at once. Do you want me to, to read those for you? No. Okay. No, they're going to be separate resolutions, I believe. Just We can approve them all at once. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, assuming you have no more presentation, Liz? No, sir. Awesome. <laughs> um, I uh, would move to approve um, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 uh, of item 7A on new business. Um, that's my motion. I'll okay. Oh. Second. second. Commissioner Hansen. Aye. Commissioner Odoricio. Yes. Commissioner Pulaski. Based on the fact that this program started in 1944 and that was a very good year, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Tedesco. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. County Manager, do we have any further business? Uh, no more items for me. County Attorney. Good morning, Commissioners. Although this does not appear on your agenda today, I would ask that if we have time today, we go into executive session pursuant to Colorado Revised Statute 246-4024B for the purpose of receiving legal advice regarding collection of marijuana tax. Those in favor? Do we have a chair? Sure, I move to if there's time. Yes, I think is what she said. <laughs> go into yeah, executive session. Okay. Okay. Commissioner Hansen. Aye. Commissioner Odoricio? Yeah. Commissioner Pulaski? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Okay, we will adjourn the public hearing and resume with land use in five minutes. <laughs>